Are you ready for Zebe? One of those hot dogs. What's a baseball game without a hot dog? Is this a riddle? Oh, bad swing. Not a very good swing. Come on, batter. You can do better than that. Take a piece out of that ball. Another strike. I noticed. Oh, man, foul ball. Where on earth are you hitting to? He can't hit. It seems that way. He's not the best hitter I've ever seen. This guy's terrible. Every day it's the same thing. Over and over again, he gets up the bat, he strikes out. He gets up the bat, he strikes out. Man, oh man, why bother? I see what you mean. He doesn't have a lot of natural talent, but he really gets out there every day and he tries to hit that ball for his team. Yup, I don't know why the coach lets him do it. Wow, I don't know why he chooses to do it. Hey, do you think he knows how bad he is? Oh, I'm sure he does. How could he not? He must! You think he knows he's not very good, and he still gets out there every day and he does his best? In front of all of us? Well, I... Not embarrassed? Doesn't care if we think he's no good? I, uh... Believing in himself like that? Duh. Wow, I'm impressed. This guy's awesome. Awesome! Man, he's determined. He's made up his mind that he's going to hit the ball, even if it takes him all season. I'm rooting for him. With determination like that, I'll bet that one day he becomes the best player in the whole league. Hmm. That's the way to play. Don't you worry, sport. You'll get him next time. Hey, kids. Let's see what the astronauts have to say. Hello, hello. Is anybody up there? Hello, Nigel. We are sending you data about outer space. How many planets are there in our solar system? There are nine planets that we know about in our solar system. Their names are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Well, that's all the data I have for you now, Nigel. See you next time. I got another joke for you. Are you ready? Okay, let's hear it. Why is tennis such a noisy game? I don't know why. They're always raising a racket. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty funny, isn't it? <laughs> Raising a racket. The words of the day. Hi, kids. Hey, let's get right to the words today and see what they're going to be. The first word is last. And the second word is long. Hey, don't be last in that long line. <laughs> 
All right, let's get to a music video. Roll them. I don't know, but I've been told those long dog days, they come and go. And sometimes I just sit around all day. I don't know if I should say, but things don't always go my way. But that's all right, cause I'm still okay. Happy, happy, happy days are here. Happy, happy, happy days are here. Happy. Say, but I've been in his doghouse half the day. I think I might get out and stretch my legs. I'll go for a walk through the park. I'll get home early before dark. I'll get to bed and wait a brand new. Then, what's up? Oh, hi. I'm practicing encouraging my sister's determination. Encouragement is good. Now I know. But this morning I had no idea. Penny was practicing catching that red rubber ball in her mouth. I mean, she was practicing all morning. And she still couldn't get it right. I let her know it. I told her to give it up. What was the use? She couldn't do it. Mom said that I should be encouraging her. And that Penny had real determination. That's when someone keeps at it, no matter how hard it is. Mom says that determination is the key to doing something well. When you're determined, you practice. When you're determined, you don't listen to pups who say, give it up. When you're determined, you try your best every single time. Well, your sister's determination is paying off. That a girl, Penny. Great catch. I knew you could do it. I'm at the dentist and he sits me in his chair He tells me not to worry and I'm smiling at everyone Who thought the dentist could ever be, could ever be this much fun? Hi everybody, my name is Dr. Weinstein, or you can call me Dr. Lee. 
I'm here today with Lazy Hi, and my helper Maddie, who's just come from school. And she just finished lunch. So what we're going to do today is take a little bit of floss and show you what to do with that. Floss is really important because sometimes food gets stuck between... Lazy, are you paying attention? <laughs> I'm, I'm right here. Okay, please pay attention. Sometimes food gets stuck between your teeth. And what we need to do is get it out. A toothbrush doesn't always work. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little bit of floss. This happens to be grape floss. And it tastes delicious. I love grape. It's my favorite flavor. It is. You have a little bit of mint, which tastes really pretty good, too. Now, I'm going to take a little bit of grape floss, and I'm going to wrap uh -oh. it around my fingers. And then I'm going to go... Uh -huh. Maddie, can you open up really big? Excellent. Uh -huh. She has a very big mouth, you know. And then we're going to go right between Maddie's teeth, okay? And here we go. Right between her teeth. And I do both sides of the teeth. I do the right side, and then the left side, and then I sometimes pull the floss all the way through. And then... Lazy, are you paying attention? Uh-huh. Okay. Once all the floss is through, I've got whatever piece of food that was stuck between Maddie's teeth off. Now we're going to go do the tooth behind. And we go back and forth, and we pull through, and then the floss is cleaned off with all the food, and we then proceed to do all the teeth. <laughs> that was easy, kids. That didn't hurt at all, Doc. That tastes great. Lazy, can you wrap the floss between your fingers? Sure can. That's perfect. Now put it in your mouth. And now you're going to slide back and forth, back and forth. And then you're going to pull it up and pull it out of your mouth. That's perfect. <laughs> and it tastes good, too. Absolutely. Now, sometimes it's really hard <laughs> for little kids to do <laughs> this by easy, themselves. Kids. That was so great. it's okay if your mom or dad helps you floss. Okay? Make sure you try to floss right before you go to bed each night. And if you can do that, you'll have nice, clean, healthy teeth. I'm going to floss one more time for Maddie right between those teeth to make sure that everything that she ate for lunch is out, and it's perfect. Okay, guys, remember to floss and to brush your teeth. Thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you guys really soon. See you, kids. Remember, floss your teeth. Take care of them. Okay, everybody, gather around. We're going to learn about pronunciation. Does everybody remember our two words of the day? Okay, let's pronounce the first one. Here we go. La, 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 la. Look. 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 That was great. Okay, now let's do the next word. Ready? Here we go. La, 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 la. Late. 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 
That was great, everybody. I have manners in the morning. Gets my day started right. I have manners in the evening when it's time to say good night. It's good to know the things to do and how to act in life. Manners are the guide we use to treat each other right. Manners! Lazy, I know you already know this, but this is a very important manner. Always remember to keep your promises. I agree, Zeb. If I make a promise, I do my best to see it through. Everybody get up and do what I do. First I'm gonna show you how, then you'll do it too. I'm the lazy lion, I'm telling you. Exercise will always pull you through. Do this. I'm the lazy lion I'm telling you Exercise will always pull you through Do this And this alone. Always swim with a buddy. It's more fun anyway. <laughs> That's a great safety tip. Telling time, we're telling time Little hand, big hand Look at your clock and figure it out We're telling time, we're telling time Little hand, big hand Look at your clock and figure it out We're telling time Now if the little hand is on three And the big hand's on twelve That could only mean one thing It's three o'clock Look at your clock and figure it out We're telling time of Sock and the Turtle. Hey, Turtle, did you know Oscar and Lazy Lion were watching a baseball game today? Hey, 
That reminds me. Why was the spider playing baseball? He was catching flies. <laughs> What kind of umpires do you find at the North Pole? Cold ones. <laughs> hey, one more, one more. Why can't the turtle play baseball? He takes too long to run to home. <laughs> to, to run to home. Stay tuned the next title. time the for the long. adventures <laughs> of Sock and the Turtle. Just in Time. Just in Time was making drinks. Green lime and cherry pink. He shook the table, bump went the cup. And just in time, he wiped it up. Hey kids! Write to Zebby at P.O. Box 95, Bethpage, New York, 11714. Or check us out on the internet at www.zebbyzoo.com. Hi, Miss Renee. Hi, Terry. How are you today? I'm great. What went on at the zoo today? Oh, we had a pretty packed day. We actually learned about determination. And if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Those are great words to live by. They sure are. Oh, and the words of the day were, look and late. Great. Hey, do you have any mail for us today? I certainly do. All right. Here you go. Ooh, great. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, let's see who it is. This letter is for Stomper, and it's from Michael and Benjamin. Dear Stomper, We love your jokes. You make us laugh with our mom. We saw an elephant in the circus once, but you are much funnier. Thanks for the smiles. Love, Michael and Benjamin. Aw, oh, Michael and Benjamin, thank you so much for the letter. Stomper is a really funny elephant. He tells some great jokes. Well, kids, make sure you keep your letters coming. We love to hear from you. Bye-bye. Everybody having a great time? Yay! Teach you the Zebby dance. You put your hands up, you put your hands down, and clap, clap, clap. Put your hands up, you put your hands down. Clap, clap, clap. Come on now. Clap your hands, get ready for a jam. Gotta move your feet in any way you can. You gotta follow Zebby in each and every day. He's moving to the sound in his own special way. He's moving to the left, he's moving to the right. His hands are in the air and he wants you all to do it right. Everybody's talking about the dance. Don't miss your chance. Do the Zebby dance. Zebby. Some friends and they help us build the group we make. Don't be afraid, just get into the beat. Come on, everybody, and show them how to move your feet. 
and everybody's talking about the dance. Don't miss your chance. Do the Zabby dance. Zabby, do the Zabby, do the Zabby, Zabby do. Do the Zabby dance. Zabby, do the Zabby. Zabby's wow, got the it's Dave the Dancing Duck. <laughs> Hip-hop. Remember this dance and the moves will never stop Gotta move your hands, you gotta move your feet No matter where you are, you gotta move to the Zebby beat He's moving to the left, he's moving to the right His hands are in the air and he wants you all to do it right Everybody's talking about the dance Don't miss your chance, do the Zebby dance Zebby, do the Zebby Zebby's a zebra who lives in a zoo. Zebby wants to laugh and learn with me and you. Zebby's a zebra who wants to meet you. Zebby can make every single dream come true. Zebby's a zebra who lives in a zoo. Zebby wants to laugh and learn with me.